Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Tonight's video presentation is going to be the first video in a three-part installment about adding SSD cache drives to your ZFS pool. We have released a video a few weeks ago about how to set up a ZFS pool. And I'll give you a brief recap at the beginning of this video about how to do that. But the real topic is going to be about how to add a write cache to your ZFS pool. This type of cache will speed up the write processes, not only for asynchronous, but also synchronous writes and allow your server to feel like it has more performance because of the increased write capability of an SSD. But you'll also be able to have the storage capacity of a large platter array. So let's move on and take a look at the configuration that I have used inside of Proxmox for this virtualization of Proxmox for this tutorial. The first thing we'll notice here is the drive that Proxmox is installed on. I've used the default size for all other drives, but this doesn't really matter. It was just something quick. Here are the three drives that I use to create my ZFS pool. This last drive has SSD emulation turned on. And this drive we're going to use to create our write log zil, or the file that we use to cache writes before they're written off to the main ZFS pool. All right, so now let's head over to our server and take a look. You can see that I've already created the ZFS pool and we've called it VE. But if you did not catch our video on creating ZFS pools, consider clicking on it at the end of this video. Now we need to click create ZFS. You add your name and you add your drives here. You can see this drive is left over for the cache that we'll use. Take note of this ending name. SDE on your drive because you're going to need to know that in order to create your cache. So now moving on, we're going to open our shell and the first thing we want to run is an LS BLK. That'll tell us all the different drive names that we need to know. This SDE is the drive that we'll be working with soon for creating our cache. We can see our ZFS pool here and a few other drives that are meant for this system. The one we want to pay attention to, in my case, is SDE. It may be called something different on your system. You can usually identify them by size. In my case, I was lazy and created that. But in your case, you should have a different size SSD than your ZFS pool. The next step is actually quite simple. We're going to go ahead and create our zil, our write log that we're going to use that will become our SSD cache for writing as part of our ZFS pool. So in order to do that, we're going to enter the command z pool. We can enter add. The name of the pool, which in my case is called VE, and then log and the drive name or SDE, you can see that nothing appeared. But if we head back over to our web interface, click here, and now click on details, we can see that there's been a log drive added. This log drive is your write cache for your ZFS pool. That is all that is to adding an SSD as a write cache drive to your ZFS pool. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video, found it educational and helpful in creating a ZFS write cache drive. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and consider clicking the bell notification so you can receive more tutorials from Virtualize Everything on how to use different features of Proxmox and other virtualization softwares. As always, have a good night.